Namaste, and welcome to our continuing series, Questions and Answers, from the works of Sri Aurobindo and the Mother. Today, the Force and the Divine Force, Part 4, from Sri Aurobindo. Question. I told X, I don't see how you can deny the reality of this force. Were you able to work with such vigor before you came here? He said, yes, I could work a lot, so much so that people were astounded. Was that Sri Aurobindo's force? Sri Aurobindo. What is Sri Aurobindo's force? It is not a personal property of this body or mind. It is a higher force used by me or acting through me. Question. And Tagore, Lenin, and other greats, is the divine force working in them too? Sri Aurobindo. Of course, it is a divine force, for there is only one force acting in the world, but it acts according to the nature of the instrument. Yogic force is different from others because it is a special power of the spiritual consciousness. <clears throat> Question. But then how is it that you wasted so much force on why? To no avail. Is it that you did not use the supramental force, which alone can work irresistibly, without the necessity of adapting itself to existing conditions? Sri Aurobindo. Certainly, supramental force was not the force used in that case. It was mental, spiritual. In such cases, the object of the force has always the right to say, no. I put the force on him because he said he wanted to change, but his vital refused, as it had the right to do. If nothing in him had asked for the change, I would not have tried it but simply put another force on him for another purpose. You make a distinction between the yogic force and the divine force, but is not the former an outcome of the latter? Of course, but all force is the divine force. It is only the egoism of the individual which takes it as his own. He uses it but it is not his. There are two things, yogic force in its original totality, which is that of the divine spiritual force, always potentially all-powerful, and yogic force doing its work under the conditions of the evolutionary world here. from the mother. The illnesses you have are the signs of the resistance of your physical consciousness to the action of the divine power. If you cannot advance in your sadhana, it is because you are divided and do not give yourself without reserve. You speak of surrendering everything to the mother but you have not done even the one thing which she asked of you and which you have promised more than once. If, after having called the action of the divine force, you allow other influences to prevail, how can you expect to be free from obstruction? and difficulties. 2011, 1928. Sweet Mother, I heard that an astrologer, 
as predicted that in six months' time, Lal Bahadur Shastri will no longer be Prime Minister and that he will be replaced by Indira Gandhi, but only for a fortnight. Then a period of chaos in the government will follow. After that, a young man will appear on the scene who will be guided by a divine force coming from a woman of great spiritual power. What do you think about it? Mother, people say many things, especially astrologers. We have only to wait. We shall surely see what happens.